have you ever wondered what a Chinese British couple eats in a day? Probably not, but allow me to show you anyway. I have a confession to make, and that confession is that my husband and I almost never eat breakfast. Every so often, I try and convince myself that I should, and then I try and have breakfast, but honestly, I don't like to eat until midday. Some people love breakfast, some people can't stand it. I'm more in the second group. Neither of us were feeling super hungry, so I decided to just make a very simple soup. Um, there was a name on the packet, but I forgot to take a video of it, and now it is somewhere in the bin. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you what soup it is. It also wasn't something I planned on making, but my husband picked up this box in the supermarket and then he dropped it. So he kind of had to pay the $9 for this box, so I figured I might as well make a soup with it. Honestly, I'm also not really a person who loves to have soup. I just find it makes me feel like I'm missing something. But on days when you don't really feel like cooking much, it does work perfectly. It then got to about 7am and honestly neither my husband nor I were very hungry so both of us had a mooncake and I also had a latte. I know that mooncakes are not for the middle of July but sometimes it's just what you need. I got started on dinner so late in fact that we actually both ate around 9pm. Honestly I love using cookbooks for finding recipes but because we are leaving the country, like I have mentioned probably 50 times at this point, all my cookbooks are already in Ireland. I have sent them ahead of time. So at the moment, I'm just using the internet to find any good recipes. I know, look. <laughs> are you shaming me? Another really fun way I remember or find recipes is by writing my own little cookbook. It's just a notebook where I write down some recipes I've cooked in the past and then I ask my husband to rate them out of 10 just so I know what he really likes. And honestly, I think that is so much fun. I've had people ask in the past, would I ever share my recipes? And the answer is maybe if I can figure out a way to share and publish it or maybe write a blog. But for now, these little videos are the most fun way for me to discuss food and cooking on the internet. One unexpected benefit of moving next month is that I will have access to a brand new kitchen where there is a completely different layout where I am able to set up a camera and film me cooking in a way where you can actually see what I'm doing and I will be able to say exactly what I'm doing, I'll be able to talk whilst cooking, all that kind of stuff. So if you are hoping to see that kind of video from me, please do let me know and I will be sure to remember to do that soon.